Boxing guru for this episode of Under the Microscope. We're going to recap Albert's Bell victory over Manuel Rojas. Another one bites the dust. Winnie is a must. 18 and no. Albert Bell is kicking up and making a fuss. One of these champs going to have to get that belt up. These are the words of the one and only boxing guru. I'd like to congratulate Albert Bell from my hometown, 419 Toledo. This has been a long time coming. Albert, do not lose focus. Do not care what the haters saying because this is the art of boxing, the real science, the sweet science. A lot of these cats is mad and upset about it because they don't understand how you can dissect and break down guys with five knockouts. But you showed everybody last night, like the guru predicted, that you was going to touch him up with power. Uh, Rojas has to say that. He'll tell everybody if they ask him the question, did Alba hurt you? Oh, them body shots? Oh, yes. Oh, them body shots was wicked. And the jab. It all set Rojas the whole night long. His dad or his trainer was in his corner with Saudi telling him, oh, yeah, we can get this done. We can do this. We can do that or whatever. He saw the sweet science will not be defined, and that's what Albert Bell is, a smooth operator, definitely in the art of boxing. For those who do not understand the art of boxing, you better watch and recognize. These are the Sugar Ray Leonard's of the world, the Roy Jones, the Muhammad Ali. Those are the arts of boxing. Those are the sweet science of the sports, and there's many more else, like Floyd. He was with the art of boxing. That's how he became so undefeated. He stayed focused. Albert, that's all you have to do and let God do the rest because all this is in the divine inventions. The boxing guru, Ben, seen this a long time ago. For a lot of y'all folks who don't know who the guru is, I go way back from Toledo. Oh, I knew Albert and his dad from way back from Soul City and this and that. Anything I can do for the Bills is no problem. When they was trying to get a contract or to get their career going, who was there for them? The guru. Yes, I went out on the limb, asked my guy, Sam Watson, give a shout out to Sam Watson from PBC. Yes, he did that. He called and did what I asked him. Thank God for that. God was in the mix of everything because everything that the guru does, he does for the work of and the will of God. I'm here as a servant to teach and to educate folks about the sport of boxing, to be a servant to all, no matter who you are. If you're from the 419 to, to the people over in Tulsa, Oklahoma, I had a fighter over there I helped. Different places all over the world. So the guru is worldwide known. I'm here to help and educate folks about the sport of boxing. It'd be amazing how some of these cats be saying I'm hating or or I'm biased towards fighters. No, I just understand the sport. They just got to understand it. So Albert Bell is definitely the smooth operator in the sweet science. Like I predicted, he was going to win that fight. It was it was against uh, Manuel. It had nothing to do against him. His style didn't match up with it. His, uh, his trainer didn't realize that until the end. He tried to talk his way through it, but it didn't happen. But like I said, Albert has to go back to the gym and stay focused. I love the work we did last night because a lot of people who really don't understand the science don't understand what happened last night. It's going to be times where a smooth operator like Albert is not going to be able to stay behind his jab. Albert did good work on the inside. I just want him to sharpen up, drop that right hand a little more to the body and come back with that crispy left hook as you circle out of there. That's going to be your power punch to hurt people. You can hook and come up with that uppercut. The uppercut was beautiful, but I need you to circle more to your right to create a little more distance and angle so you can drop that right hand like it's supposed to. So these are the things we need to work on. And then... For our next opponent, it could be because now we rated, as far as Albert, is rated in the top 10 now after this victory, baby. We went from 12 in the WBO. He should be in the 10 now since Frampton done retired. So this is very critical. So Albert is definitely inching up 
inching up with each fight. And his next fight should be um, against that 18-year-old um, guy who fought right before Albert. Robson, uh, Cur Cur whatever, he's a Brazilian guy. He looks strong. Yeah, he knocked the um, Mexican guy out or whatever the guy was, the Latino um, guy. He knocked him out. He fight at 132. So that would be a perfect um, setup if we can't get none of the top guys. You know, because with uh, Jamal Heron, what he's doing now, he's trying to get that unification bout. He deserve it. Jamal deserve it. Jamal should come out and say something about Shakur Stevenson. Man, you ain't getting this fight because you're supposed to be the number one ranked guy over here at ESPN. But, hey, unification bouts overrides um, um, the number one contender. Jamal definitely deserved that at 35 years old. He should get that. He should get on the mic, or not on the mic, but on, on social media and tell Shakur Stevens, he got to wait in line. He got to wait in line. Come see somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Have your fight in June. Hopefully, uh, yeah, we, we ready for him. Shakur Stevenson got to prove himself again at 130. He can't just jump up there when this unification bout's happening. So I'm waiting for Jamal to say something about that. But with Albert, we need to focus in. Probably on our next opponent, it has to be that guy. I'm guru going out on the limb to say this because none of the top 10 guys going to want to fight us. So it's got to be this other 7, 18, and no Brazilian guy. It has to be that. We can set that up for uh, later in the year as far as um, maybe before Christmas to give us some cheddar or something like that. Yeah, for the holiday money and stuff like that. That will be a perfect fight for Albert to get in there and beat uh, Robinson or whatever, the Brazilian guy who fought right before Albert last night on the car. So we would definitely take him out and take his O. His O has got to go. Plus, since we can't get none of the top fighters, we'll, we'll line it up, an O versus an O. What better else? How is it supposed to go? So that would be perfect for our resume and to move us higher in the rankings. So by the end of the year, Albert should be done moved up maybe from 10, from 12 to 10 to maybe 8 or 7. So we definitely in that spot where we had to fight Nova and them in the eliminator bout or somebody like that. And then next year, by the time Stevenson or Valdez or Jamal Heron, he going to fall off after he cash out with this Valdez fight if he go that route. He going to be ready to retire or or by then we'll be ready for a fight by next, maybe next year. Albert should be ready as far as the sanctioning bodies and, and the boys who are ahead of us be ready to cash out and do their thing. So by uh, 2022, the guru is predicting Prince Albert Bell will be um, the champ at 130 pounds. These are the words for the one and only boxing guru. I told y'all last night, another one was going to bite the dust. Winning is a must. Albert Bell is coming. He's kicking up dust. Subscribe to me if you want more of the Boxing Guru Show. Come get it, 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 come get it. Get it.